guys, Crew Blonde Wave back. I'm Aaron. And I am Calvin. And we are here with a movie voted by you guys over patreon.com slash blindwave. We uh, covered Kingsman recently, mm -hmm. which was called, uh, what was the first one called? Just Kingsman. Just Kingsman? But isn't the new, newest Service. one just called? Yeah, that's what it was. It was that. Yeah. The newest one's called Kingsman. The newest one is called The King's Man. This is something about circles. Golden circle. <laughs> that. Um, I have not seen this one. I haven't seen the last one, and I haven't seen the next one. You haven't seen... But I've seen the last one now. You, had, okay. We can see you, had, you watched the reaction. You can watch the reaction. It's, the it's over on the channel somewhere. Uh, I think it was me and Rick both hadn't seen that. Mm -hmm. uh, we reacted to that one. But this one here, Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Yeah. Um, the last one... Man, the, I'm assuming this is a sequel. I think I've heard the next one's supposed to be a prequel. But in the last one, they killed off the dude. Yeah. I can't remember his name now, but he was really cool. Had that cool church scene, and then came out and shot him. Yeah. And I was like, what? And that guy was so cool. So um, I'm assuming this is going to follow the, the kid that he trained who, like, did the bar scene thing again. He's like... Yeah. So... Eggsy. Is that his name? Yeah. Eggsy? Eggsy's the main character. Eggsy. I'm going to write it down because it's been a while since I watched the first one. Like, experimental Eggsies? Pretty much, yeah. All right. So... <laughs> yeah. That's where we're at. Uh, if you guys want to watch along... Uh, the entire reaction will have that available over at mm -hmm. patreon.com slash blindwave. You can check the Raw Rider tier, watch the full length. There's also four more movies available over there. Um, I don't know what they are yet, but they're there. You can check those out as well. And uh, make sure you also vote. Every other week there's a new poll, new options on the polls. You guys can vote, choose some movies for us to react to. Yeah. So, But speaking of reaction, we need to get reacting. Yeah. Oh, this is one of those things. Yeah, it's the colorblind test. Marv. Marv. Yep. Could you not read it? I just saw a bunch of dots and an M. No. Colorblind no. and face blind. No, face blind. I read it. <laughs> Watch out. Ah, that's the dude. Eggy. It's on his neck. Aw, oh, that's me. Guys off it! Okay. There's a driver in there? Yep. Why didn't that guy unlock the door? Why is he sitting there where the guy had a gun? Oh, what? He's got a Terminator hand. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Dude, did we go out the window there? Yes. Yeah. That's a hell of a way to start the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> hell of a thing. Oh. I think he had a door. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. That's a cool shot. Yeah. Oh no, no. Pete! Oh, his arm! I need to rewatch that and see how the hell they shot some of that stuff. Yeah. That was crazy. I'm curious what the camera movements are because it's so good. What the hell are we doing to this car? You just kick off the hubcaps? Yeah, he what? transformed the car. Oh, he's still alive? Yeah. This feels so like James Bond and stuff. Come on, Marlon. Head south, I'm clearing the route. They're all shooting with miniguns? Yeah. <laughs> They're not hitting each other. Split to three. Good thing it splits into three. Man, no, that was just relax. one missile. Are right behind you. You have 30 seconds before they reach your position. Go directly to Rendezvous Swan. Ice cream of four. That guy's arm hanging from the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Like an underwater garage or something? It's binging like a submarine. <laughs> yeah. Bing. That's a hell of a taxi. Yeah. I've got to get to a dinner tonight, and if I miss it, let's just say Charlie might as well have killed me. Well, if you can't wait for the police to clear the park, there's another way out in the corner. Is it a sewer? Yeah. How important is that dinner? Important Let enough? Me show you. Important enough. Oh, man, he didn't even plug his nose. I'd plug my nose. Yeah, I'd probably do that, too. Because just your nostrils being pointed down, that stuff is going to shoot up in oh, there. Oh, no, the arm. Oh, my gosh, he's going to be alive. Oh, <laughs> it's fucking going to crawl around and shit. No, it's going to hack it. That's a weird sewer-looking thing. It's bigger than round, <laughs> better than square. The hell oh, that's happened? What's her name? Mm -hmm. It's a long story that deserves oh. a kiss. <laughs> Not even JB would kiss you right now. Aww. I'll meet her parents for the first time tomorrow night. Woo! I want to make a good impression, so what? <laughs> My drugs are everywhere. 
Oh, that was a cool transition. Thing. Okay. <laughs> that was a big bag. Yes, it was. <laughs> Poppy land. <laughs> uh, Julian Moore? Is that her name? Like a brand? Or a tattoo? Or what? Girl Pal Charles has messed up. That's all I'm going to tell you, because that's all you need to know, so put him in a mincer, okay? It's a big What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Is that why it's so big? Because you shove people in there? Oh no, guard dog. Robo dogs! <laughs> what the hell? Benny and Jet. Is it Benny and Jet? Oh my god. Like, I don't even know what it would be like to be eaten by a, by a robo dog. Oh man. Probably similar to a mincer. Oh my gosh. Head first, I guess, would be the better way, I guess. Like trying to put a cat in the uh, sink of water. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem right, but okay. Will you stop it halfway? Please finish it. Are you gonna make hamburgers out of him? He's a cannibal. I've got this shit on lock. I know what every <laughs> single one of them knives and forks is for. This? Aww. Uh, Alright, Jim. That's Jets. right, I forgot. That's cool. The man who attacked Galahad in the taxi was Charlie Hesketh. Rejected Kingsman applicant turned yeah, back. Yeah, he was in the school well, program. I saw him back at mm -hmm. Richmond Valentine's HQ. Oh, he was the, uh, the rich kid. That's right. I remember that. Hey, man. <laughs> Still fucking spectacular, eh? <laughs> you also saved Charlie. The electrocution stopped him. That's why I was you in the neck. <gasps> Damn, his arm! His implant. Instead of his head exploding, he only lost an arm and his vocal cords. A cosmetic tattoo made of 24 karat gold. Huh. We all had them. So it is a tattoo. Seems like we're looking at some kind of Made underworld it. organization. Ah, uh, you got some. Man. I understand that. I don't know if I could go through the. I couldn't do the teeth. Thing. Doing my teeth. <laughs> so you just melt it and put it onto you. So it's not even really a tattoo. It's just. Damn. Really. Does he have to eat it? Oh my gosh. His legs are still sticking up in the air. If I didn't know where it came from, it looks really good. It does look good. But if I'm just staring at all that, like, were they friends? All right. That's a crazy initiation. I gotta say, that meat did not look brown enough to be cooked all the way through. <laughs> well, I don't know what temperature you gotta get human to. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people know. What do you make of the current situation in the Indian financial markets? I don't think we can underestimate the impact of the ECB's quantitative the easing glasses. Issues and and the Bluetooth logo is his initials in Norse runic symbols. And as I'm sure you know, the Bluetooth logo is his initials yeah. in Norse runic symbols. Oh my God, Igby, why isn't he eating his fucking pudding? <laughs> Was he typing with his eyes that yeah. he's doing? <laughs> that was kind it of was funny. It was an eye-tracking keyboard. This is, yeah, this is where there was a whole bunch of, uh... Yep. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no! Why'd you push a button? What the, what the fuck is going on here? Shit, he's waving a gun around! <laughs> shut it! Fucking shut it! <laughs> it's very big. Shut <gasps> it! Shut it! Now! <sighs> is that a hand? What is it? What the hell? Oh, do they think that he was home and they just blew up his house? It is! They're attacking the people they know of you, Kingsman. Oh, Oh, no, they're killing all of them. Oh, no, Gal has to be the only one left. Maybe Merlin, I don't know where Merlin is. He's probably at the school, though. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it, man. And she's just bowling. My guys made you this. A new arm. He's gonna just shoot the ball at the pin. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's gonna be like Bigfoot on bowling night. <laughs> Pretty damn close. He still didn't get a strike. <laughs> I thought we were gonna keep following. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there was like a hole in the trees. <laughs> yeah, like where were This is the bowling ball? Man, the puppy's dead. And his friend, Merlin. Ah, oh, yes, good. I'm glad he didn't die. 
There's no time for emotion in this scenario. Dang, man. It's always just him left. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, he had Lancelot last now, time. Now she's gone. As all surviving agents are present, we follow the Doomsday Protocol. <clears throat> okay. Whatever's in that safe is the answer to all our problems. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? I suppose that must be upper class humor. Should we do one for JB? I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> I think we should drink to Scotland. I think we've probably had enough. <laughs> drink to Scotland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's Scottish. <laughs> Why not? Distilled in Kentucky. Well, okay. Country roads take me home. That's West Virginia. West Virginia, but we're in Kentucky. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> <laughs> so what is Statesman? It's like the United States version of Kingsman? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, fucking hell, man. Wait. I never heard of nothing for you. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, we're gonna fight. Oh. Oh, Merlin's down. I really like the fights they do. It's done. Damn, man, he's good. Who the fuck are you? Oh, fuck off. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> he, like, snapped the fire on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we change things up. Wait, what? How? Y'all got three seconds to Dude, it was shot in the Wait. face! Uh, no! They're gonna shoot him now to bring him back. Their story checked out. I opened the Try your balls off. Scenario locker. <laughs> Kingsman. This is Ginger Ale. He's a Ginger Ale. Executive. Hello? Is that Halle Berry? I'm Asian. Yes! Steve. I didn't recognize her right away. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Harry's alive? Yep. I just talked about him being dead. How are you? Hello. Hello. Oh, he doesn't remember anything? I, mean, I guess it makes sense. He got shot in the face. I'm a lepidopterist. You a what? I study butterflies. Oh, that's why they're all over the walls, huh? Mm -hmm. Lepidopterist. Lepid lepid Har lepidopterist? Harry. <laughs> How did you get here? They were in America when they did the church yeah. fight. It was in the church, yeah. <laughs> Damn, they saved his life after getting shot in the eye? We developed our alpha gel technology for our own agents in the event of a headshot. The gel protects the brain. Then in the lab, we use nanites, microbots, to repair tissue damage. Whoa. It's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really, I, I was confused when it showed him because I was like, that's not him. He got shot in the face. Yeah. There's no way it's him. I'm like, what am I looking at? Fucking saran wrapped his head. <laughs> Pretty much. Crocodile Rock, please. Fuck you! <laughs> no! Don't kill him! Hey, hey! Shit! Is that all about the blue rats? Huh. Lights? Wait, why does he have that? Tell me who you partied with. It was Angel. Huh. There's people riding horses outside. Yeah, it's Kentucky. <laughs> I like their little like silo thing that's the shape of their bottle. Mm -hmm. I'm champagne. But anyone who knows what's good for them. I know. Calls me Tony Stark, Stark built this in a cave! Is it? <laughs> Damn, man, he looks so different. Yeah. Charlie Hesketh. Total prick. You got any promising leads from her? His ex-girlfriend? I've been tracking her through social media and she's going to Glastonbury Music Festival. Hey, just tequila, break out your dancing shoes. You have a new mission. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Why is he blue too? Your face. What do you get blue you got... from? What's the blue from? Alcohol? Galahad, meet Agent Whiskey. Oh, damn. It's yeah. Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> we need to recreate a shock or trauma from his past to trigger his memory. Oh, the training simulator thing. What are I going to do? It's going to start drowning. Flood the. Drain it! Drain it all! We thought this might jog your memory. Drowning me? Look. <laughs> Was that a <laughs> scuba diver? <laughs> no. We gotta fix him. He has to fight and do really cool shit. Oh. oh. I know he could never replace JP, oh. but. Damn, I thought, like, damn, they saved the dog? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, if you save the world, you know what that means. What does it mean, Calvin? I'm gonna be saving the world every day. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't work today, guys. You gotta save the you, world. Do you remember what it meant? You gotta save the world! Yeah. The last movie in the prison. Okay. Goes on your finger. Oh. Surveillance trackers in the tip. Apply light pressure for three seconds to release it. Okay. I thought it was a condom. That's <laughs> certainly what it looks like. <laughs> Mucous membrane. That's like up the nose, isn't it? What the fuck am I gonna do? Stick the thing. It's not just inside the nose, is it? No, exit it ain't. Fuck. All right, I'll take first crack. Watch and learn, buddy. First crack. Take that one of two ways. <laughs> what are we doing? Swiping to the left. What, you don't do Tinder in America? It translates as go away, old man. <laughs> oh, why are they blue? Where's the blue coming from? Have you found any correlation between these cases? Only recreational drug use. Oh, had to bench him. He was fucking good. Mm -hmm. I don't know how good Peggy can fight, but... <laughs> Knock yourself out. Don't get me started on tobacco and alcohol. I love her name's Poppy. Yeah. Madame Poppy? Oh, man. Yes, baby. Are we gonna put him in the grinder, too? Oh, no. He's gonna get eaten by the dogs. <sighs> oh! Oh, man. It's so good to have the reflection in his glasses. You didn't see the middle you, bit, you but can't you quite see what's going on. Oh, oh. John Detective. Friend! <laughs> <laughs> it's a yurt. It's a tent cow. Wow. Look at this tent. That's a yurt. It's, it's, you know what? I'm busting for a pee, actually. <laughs> you can do it on me if you want. Uh, I've got to sleep with the target, but I won't do it unless you agree that it's all right. Oh. You've got to be fucking kidding. I love you. You are the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Is that a proposal? Um. Oh. Just give me five minutes, okay? Don't put yourself down, Exie. I'm sure you can last longer than that. Uh, I like what he was saying about the whole letting you know beforehand kind of thing. But sure. Doesn't I, make it any easier. It might also be one of those like forgiveness permission kind of lines. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Golden Circle. We have bloodstream. <laughs> now I understand more of why it looks like a con. Good work, Exit. I don't know. She seemed a bit freaky. Like, maybe she just stuck it up her nose and left. <laughs> I'm like, go to hit him and he goes, blocks it real quick or something. And as much as I want him in Kingsman, it might be cool also to have him be able to, like, just go live a good life doing something else. Sure. You know? Oh no! Is that the recreational stuff that's gonna make her all blue? Keep it changed. These are pounds! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought Harry left already. Okay. Bring Harry a puppy. No, no one's sick enough to shoot a puppy. Well, what about you, Harry? You were sick enough to shoot a puppy. Do you remember? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Wow. Looks good. It looks like a young him. Exit. Hello, Harry. Good. Welcome back. Galahad. Shoot, what's his name now? That eye looks terrible. You look great. I mean, it looks good, but it looks terrible, you know what I mean? There you go, okay. You look like some faggot looking for an eye fucking. Who the fuck are you? Now. Is he gonna do the thing? Nanas? <laughs> <Make> <laughs> I don't know why. This is the third time I've seen it, and I love it. Yeah. Right, because they did it twice in the first movie, I think, right? Yep. Once with him, once with Eggsy. Ah, oh, the same thing. Ah, uh, little one eye, a little off. Or are we going to... Oh, shit! You can't see the left side. Oh! He has a lasso. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, no! Oh, that's a rope dart, right? You can't kill that man! Oh! <laughs> oh! It's like a lightsaber whip! It just Kinda. showed up out of nowhere! I love him using the whip just as much as the lasso. Yeah. 
It's retractable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me how it works. I love it's it. It's bullshit, but yeah. it's great. Ecstasy and crystal meth. <laughs> that guy's so funny. Some of you are already infected. Breathing becomes impossible, leading to a very nasty oh, death. Oh, jeez. 12 hours. I have an antidote. Elton John, man. Save this man. That is fast acting. Yes, it is. Fucking bitch! 100% effective and ready to ship out worldwide at a moment. I love Elton John screaming her sanities. You just keep yelling fucking bitch at her. Yeah. It'd be great if you had a rash. <laughs> the president. The president? <laughs> was like, oh, shit. It'd be some shit. I did not inhale. <laughs> the blue rash is now being renamed the dancing disease as victims begin to exhibit stage two symptoms. <laughs> Let the junkie scum go down in flames. Huh? Oh, man. What about people who are just experimenting? Folks who self medicate? Functioning professionals? Kids? It's not just crap. criminals doing it. The you know fact I mean? is, this presidency has just won a war on drugs. Locate Poppy and obtain a sample for analysis. Fucking blue rash. Why didn't you tell me? Don't take any drugs. It was a music festival for fuck's sake. Shit. It's when a hot dog stand just here. Yeah. So, tequila got it from just something else. It wasn't like the alcohol he was drinking or anything. No. Yeah. He missed. Oh, man. So sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, found the lab. Man, is that all, all antidotes? antidotes. We're gonna have, like... Hi, Dad. Hundreds of millions, oh. right? Sorry, I'm late. You are Wu Ting Feng? Yes. <laughs> Hi. How are you still alive? River, what are you doing here? Uh oh. Hi, Clara. What happens at Glasto stays at Glasto. <laughs> that was just for Charlie. Sound the alarm! All clear at the bottom! Man, there's butterflies and shit. I wonder if that guy, he has a golden circle like patch. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's like, you get this if you're not in the inner circle to get the tattoo, you know what I mean? Sure. But I'm surprised she- like golden she, circle staff. I'm surprised she had one though. He seems not concerned. Why is it spinning? It's like a damn UFO ride at the fair. Right? Oh no, it's a chasm. Okay, now what? Oh, shit. I don't know if this helped. Jeez. If he'd have done it any later, no, any sooner. Well, those two are dead. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Is he that would rip you through that hole so fast. That's the first decent shit I've had in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Get down! No! Why'd you do that? Oh, fuck. Exactly, I think he could be working for the other side. What the fuck is wrong with you? There's a moment in the thing of Harry Stay Behind. This is fucking cool as hell, though. Yeah. Trigger! That's so cool, though, man. It's gonna cut him in half. Oh, it does! I'm say cut the glass, it's gonna cut him in half. Shit, man. Everything's just going crazy. It's a fucking tidal wave just happened out there and everyone stopped. <laughs> Holy crap. This is all my fault. Oh, uh, the bull, the yeah, the head wound. That's right, they, they said that. That's how they saved him. Whiskey's down, he's been shot. What happened? He got caught in the crossfire. I've applied the Alpha Joe. We'll bring him in. Thank you. What about the antidotes? That's why. Mm hmm. She was trying to be a voice of reason. She partakes in something. Fucking put her in prison? Oh, this is one of the stadium cell things, isn't it? Oh my yep. gosh. Why is she calling? Sorry, I've got to take this. Does she have blue rash? Yep. 
my favorite singer. I don't bloody know how would I know that. It's John Denver. <laughs> <laughs> we started using words like bruv. Bruv. Hey, bruv. I don't know. It seems weird, but it seems cool. <laughs> <laughs> my fleet of drones will distribute the antidote immediately. Damn. So don't how think many? I sign that document because time millions is Millions of drones you have to buy. I know, man. It's like pool on the plane. If it's stable enough, I guess. All right. When I was shot, can you guess what the last thing was that flashed through my mind? It was absolutely nothing. Hmm. Just know that having something to lose is what makes life worth living. It was a hell of a plane. They all get a new suit. Who gets the gray one? Who's this pretty lady? She's dead. Cop said, wrong place, wrong time. Well, I'm guessing you didn't fix him right. Well, where the hell is he? <sighs> Damn it, he is bad. Cambodia. Lucky. Good, Marlin. Feeling good, Eggsy. He's going out in the field, huh? And I'm entrusting this. That's a big knife. To me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of knives. <laughs> That's... <laughs> it's almost a sword. It's a big machete. <laughs> Dude, he's in a jet. Yeah. Dude, they're gonna love Eggsy when he saves their daughter. Right. Again. They're gonna be like, go in that bedroom. <laughs> what? <laughs> You have a sweeper. So on the count of three, well, I want you to... No, Merlin, why? This is no time for emotion. There may be a training. Or we all die. Dude, I heard the click noise when he did that. I thought they stepped on other ones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they both stepped on they it. They were all on a landmine. Like, <laughs> find like a big rock or something. I don't know. Right? Or like wedge a tree against yeah, it? Yeah, fucking log. I don't know, something. Almost have a... No, he's gonna pull them in and blow them all up. Take me home. Damn it. Poppy, we got a situation here. Country road. If they shoot him, they're gonna blow them all up. Country Maybe we can like wrap Merlin's head in some saran wrap. I don't think the gel is gonna do it. Wednesday, Wednesday, Holy Wednesday, shit, Wednesday, the robot has a grenade launcher. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be Saturday? What day is it today? Wednesday. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> 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 <He's>... <laughs> it's like Temple of Doom. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's got the rocket launcher too? Damn. He put it in his hole. Fuck off! Or I'll fuck you up! <laughs> oh, they got a whole body shield. That's sweet. It's really cool. It's like Montaigne. Yeah, it is. <laughs> They're not allowed to hurt him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The Kingdom has some of the craziest action sequences I've seen in some movies. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, robot. Grenade launcher. What? Just bolo grab those things. Oh no! Don't let him get away. Oh no! The dogs. I forgot. He ate the bullet. Get over there! <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like Jax meets a scorpion. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's a bowling ball, okay? Oh, the wings would be so slippery. Yep. Oh, strike! Oh, bowling balls! Oh, no, that's not good for him. Oh, what? Friend! <laughs> <laughs> I love the way they seated it. Rocket man! <laughs> and he covers up so much of it. Yes! Yeah. He's a big giant feather bird thing. <laughs> <laughs> Arm hacked. Oh, because it has a microchip. Oh, yeah. Hacks oh. anything with a microchip. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh! Uh, Elton John Fred. Oh, ow! Elton John Fred. Like, it would be so confused as a computer. Fuck you, Poppy! Fuck 
you, Elton. Uh oh. Don't let it kill Elton John. Fuck. Elton John is a fuck in this movie so much. Oh, sweet. Elton John. Hammer time. Oh, fuck that dog up. Can I have two tickets to your next concert? Darling, if you save the world, you can have a backstage pass. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. Great. Here comes Benny. Let's make this fair. Put one arm behind my back. Yeah, I'll beat you with one arm behind my back. Oh, oh, go, go the dog or something. Fans like Terminator shit. Oh, I like that. That was nice. It's a really cool move. He's gonna break his neck! Good night, bruv. Damn. Dude, these two guys came in here. The bitch is back. <laughs> I didn't see that side. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw the Captain Fantastic. I like the other side being the bitch is back. Give us the code. Sure. No. Oh. oh. Is it over? <laughs> Heroin. Oh. Viva Las Megan. Get it? Oh, damn. She's out already? Shit, she's dead? Damn! That was in eight minutes. So deep. You gave it too much. Did I? No. Oh, I knew it, you son of a bitch! Of course, maybe you could be mad at him for that, but I think he's bad. No more drug users. And the statesman's share prize rockets. Oh, I see. So those are your principles. Love of my life. Pregnant with my little boy. He'd be about your age now. Was it someone? If his hadn't got caught in the crossfire when two meth-head freaks decided to rob a fucking convenience store. Mm -hmm. Wrong place, wrong time. Man, he's willing to sacrifice the killer, too. That case. Mm -hmm. I think it sounds like a bright idea. Oh, get it up! Let go, let go, let go! Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You should have tightened it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Camera following him over the bar. I love that. Oh, damn, that hurt. Fucking throw him in the grinder. Oh, shit. Okay, you're the knife. Some, some crazy shots. It, it blends together pretty well. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I was going to say, just turn it off. The switch is right there by your foot. Sure, yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man. Well, maybe there's good reason to leave it on. Oh, you just grinded him into there. Oh. It gives me chills watching the man get ground into pieces. Yeah. Oh. Put Alpha Gel on that. <laughs> Dickhead. I feel like I need to watch the, all these fights, like another time. Because I want to, yeah. like, look at Like, there's cuts hidden in, like, flashes of gunfire and stuff. A bunch of drones going out. What about Italy, though? Italy's fucked. Yeah, all its antidotes are fucking... I don't know if they have relief drones planned. <laughs> As victims return to their right. homes tonight, cured. I wasn't sure if the government was going to, like, try to hide it and just be like, eh, I mean, what? Sure. Yes, bro! All right, bro. <laughs> I'll, stop I children. I love you, man. I love you. I'm never touching that huh? shit again. The sign just says, stop children. Just <laughs> stop them. Whatever they're doing, stop them. Stop. <laughs> the president actively sanctioned the deaths of hundreds of millions yes. of people. Yes. Yes. We have purchased a distillery in Scotland. Scotland. Oh, because of Merlin. We would be honored if one of you would be our new agent whiskey. Uh, yeah, that's ginger ale. I'd like to throw my hat in the ring. Looks like she's in. Never <laughs> see. And they got a Kingsman line of scotch. Is yeah. that what it is? <laughs> yep. You ready? Not a doubt in my mind. Oh, is he getting married? This is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end but it is perhaps the end of the beginning hmm. <laughs> Elton John's there <laughs> oh well damn 
I might need to rewatch the first one because I haven't seen it since our reaction. Sure. But I feel like I like this one better than the first one. I don't know. There's definitely parts of this one that I like more. Like there's there's things in the first one that I can remember that I do like. Like I like seeing like more of like what Kingsman is, the training process, mm-hmm. some of that stuff. It introduces and this feeds from that like really well. I feel like like there's characters that are coming back from the previous thing. Mm-hmm. There's you know what happened to Harry is coming over. Like there's lots of those kind of things that I like that that's connected. But you also don't have the slower like that introduce you to who this guy is and this stuff. They kick you into the middle of it with just like here's a fucking this guy's gonna kill this guy we're gonna fight in the car yeah and like that whole beginning sequence was just crazy and fun it just drops you right in the middle of it yeah it's just like here we go and they're like charlie 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 okay kind of i kind of remember yeah it helped a little bit when when that little thing in his glasses popped up it showed you his, his yeah picture it showed the other back picture school. and i was like well those don't look like the same guy yeah <laughs> and then uh um what helped? Because I'm like, well, he was in school. I don't remember what happened. And then they showed like all the heads popping and all that stuff. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, that's right. I remember him being there now because I'd kind of forgotten about it. But like, they didn't necessarily like, they didn't hold my hand, especially in the beginning. But then they were like, well, this is who this guy is. I'm like, ah, okay. Now, yeah. I'm, now I'm rejogged. So, mm-hmm. but no, I mean, I think it's interesting bringing in like a uh, like Kingsmen are like the the British this, and then Statesmen are the United yeah. States this this, and yeah. I liked. I like the idea of that a lot. Mm-hmm. No, it was really cool how how the tie-in worked. It was like the the first statesman, his uh, tailor was a kingsman, mm. so so it connects in there. Yeah, so it works. That's what uh, Ginger Ale said. Yeah, I yeah, the founder. So that was cool. I like like theirs is all alcohol. The other ones are all like you know uh, King Arthur Court knights and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the Harry thing caught me off guard because I was like, when, it, when the lights or the, the mirror or whatever opened up, and I was like, what? Can't be him. Yeah. <laughs> He's got an eye patch, though. I think he was shot in the eye. But he was shot in the face. Like, pretty sure we saw him get shot in the face, you know? Like, yeah. typically that's just like, that guy's dead now. But they have a, a gel. Maybe mm-hmm. shot another guy in the head and brought him right back. But he didn't have the memory loss as bad because they were like, here's a picture. Yeah, and, and I like, think it was also like a, a graze or something. It seemed to it, like catch somewhere yeah. in here. Because either maybe it went in through the side and then out through the back or something sure. like that. But yeah. But he had like a, I, he had a patch thing over mm-hmm. here as opposed to his eyeball and stuff. So, But no, yeah. I mean, his fights, Pedro's, those were fun. Like the bar thing with the lasso and everything was yeah. really cool. Him like catching that knife. And like, I was confused too at first because... When he was, when they were in the bar, the one guy got up and was saying stuff, and he said moonshine, and I was like, "Are these supposed to be like other agents? It's like moonshine's like an alcohol?" So you the have first time tequila, I saw it, I was, little, I was confused too, but I think that was just like, uh, "Sit back down there, and butter cake." Or, you sure, know, yeah, something calling like him that. something or another. So, because then when he started like, like the knife came around and stabbed the guy, I'm like, "Are these your agents or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who are these guys?" <coughs> so. I liked, I kind of liked his reasoning as to why he was against it. And it wasn't even like, he wasn't for Poppy. Like, he wasn't working with her, which is what I thought it was yeah. initially. So that makes more sense, too, because whenever he had a, uh, he told Harry to stay behind, I felt like there was like a face from him that looked weird. And then, whenever we got into the complex, he didn't find the location um, Galahad did, yeah. you know? And then when we got inside, they did that. And then when we left, though... He, the uh, Charlie guy turned on his stuff and it just started spinning going crazy. I'm like, well, he's going to kill him. So maybe they're not working together. Mm-hmm. And then when we got back downstairs to the one thing and got to the little cabin, the uh, the whole, like, let me see that. Yeah, and then the guy knocked on the door. Yeah. When he pulled it away, I felt like he was, like, yeah. angry that he didn't get it. And then the knocking it away and it broke and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. And then he went out there and he killed everybody, though. Yeah. They were trying to kill him. And I'm like... I'm not sure. But the idea that he's not actually working with Poppy makes more sense why Poppy's people are trying to kill him. Yeah. And then, like, he kind of has his own agenda as opposed to, like, working with anybody necessarily. So yeah, it kind of worked together well enough. And then, okay, well, he showed up at the end to stop them. And there's, like, yeah. another big boss battle we got to do. Yeah, you can see from so. his perspective that it makes sense to let all of the drug users die. Sure. 
because of what happened in his past. Yeah, he has a and, history. And it's not like politically motivated or, or profit or business or anything like I mean, that. Maybe a little profit motivated because of the statesman sure. thing. Sure. Like, like that's an added the, side effect. If all the drug users are dead, then there's just alcohol. Sure. <laughs> Which, I mean, like, well, what if other people just use drugs? But supposedly they don't, I guess, because... I mean, you sure, know, if, if you grow your own marijuana or synthesize your own like whatever. They're, they're still out there or whatever. That's yeah. still out there. But in this in this version of, of yeah. it, Poppy has a monopoly on, on I, global drug trade. I at least understood um, whiskey better than the president, who yes. I felt like was just a dick. It was cartoonishly... Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's, it's like, ah, that bitch... Uh, she's doing all the hard work for me. Yeah. Killing all the, the drug users. All the drug stuff. users and stuff, yeah. So I was like, we just won the war on drugs yeah. by killing everyone who uses drugs. And I was like, I guess. Meanwhile, the other guy was like, drug users came in, killed my wife. He has like a vendetta against some kind of thing. And I'm like, I can kind of understand that. He's even against his boy Tequila. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. At least there's a little bit more with that. So, But the fights and stuff. There's one thing, I don't know. Kingsman has like a way with action that like. It's, I don't know, it's different than a lot of other stuff I feel like I've watched, you know? Like, it's not like The Raid. No, yeah. But it's also not just, like, James Bond. Mm-hmm. And it's, I don't know, there's just, there's something about it. There's, like, a style to it. And there's some good choreography and stuff. And there's some, like, mixture of, like, this is real, this is CG, and you're trying to, like, find where the seams are sometimes. And I feel like they blend really well with the, the, the cuts in the one shots, um, where they choose to cut is is I think it's a really good place. Upon rewatching it, I think this is maybe my third time rewatching it. I see a couple of them, but I'm also just so enamored with what's happening on screen that mm-hmm. I really don't care. Sure, yeah. You know, I just want to I, I want to see the next sequence. Oh, he's got the knife. What does he do with that? Oh, he's got the whip and he go through it. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Well, like there's like little things. Like I really like during the car scene. Like, the fight's cool. And, like, I'm curious on, like, the movement for, like, the camera and stuff, too. Because, like, they're fighting in a car. Like, there's yeah. not a lot of room there. And the camera is, like, moving around. And you're catching, like, the foot comes up and it goes yeah. back down. But the camera, like, will follow things and move to certain points. And, like, that part seems cool. But I also, like, like I don't know if he needed to do it. But there's, like, when he falls off the car and he's on the, the door. The door. He's, like, sliding and spinning. And it's, like, it looks like he, like, reaches and, like, uses his foot to kind of catch him just a little bit so he can spin to grab yeah. it and i'm like this is like a neat little like detail where like maybe some other ones you wouldn't necessarily have that in like another movie he would just spin and grab it sure but this one it's, it's more of like a struggle like oh shit okay i got just enough okay i'm good and i, I like that it seems like he's struggling and he's always just barely getting by and mm-hmm. stuff that's why i like it too is like a little bit with like jackie chan there's a sense of urgency because it doesn't look like he's gonna make it at times yeah. you know I feel like this does it pretty well with that. Did I... So I, I was confused. Maybe I didn't see what I saw. In the very beginning when the driver was in that scene, mm-hmm. he pops out his knife and he goes to attack the guy and he breaks the knife off and it goes in the driver's. I thought I saw like blue in his neck. Mm-hmm. There was. There was blue in his neck? Yeah, it, okay. it was creeping up the side of his face. Like and that's from when the he wound? Liked... Yeah. Was... Hmm. So it was the same kind of poison. Sure. I just wondered what caused it, right? Because like, if everything else is coming from the drugs, was it like in his hand that broke the blade? Was it on the blade? Like, do they lace their blades with heroin or something? Or I was just I was spending so much time in the middle part. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I had forgotten. I I'd forgotten about her being like they, they did the marijuana bag and they went into it and did the trees. Which, transition wise, there's some cool. It was really cool transitions. But I forgot about her talking about being a drug trade lady and whatnot. So when everyone was blue and stuff, I'm like. What the fuck? Is it metal? Like, what is it? Why did tequila get it? Why did the driver have it? The driver? What was the driver doing? But He had metal poisoning in his neck. <laughs> yeah. But maybe it wasn't that it came from the knife. Maybe he was just slowly getting it already, and he was one of the first ones. Maybe he did some stuff on the side. I don't know. Maybe. So, it looked like in that scene it was spreading pretty quickly. It did. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. Like, it looks all blue going up his neck after it's kind of sitting there. So it seems poisoned. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm misremembering something from, like, the first one where it's like, hey, we have blades in our shoes and they're laced with blue shit. You know, I don't know. But it I, seems similar sure, to the other people. I'm pretty sure Galahad, um, old Galahad, said, like, yeah, the, the poison tips are, or the, the shoe mm. tips are poisoned. So maybe it was something like that. But I spent like too long thinking about that and forgot about the drug section. I'm like, well, why did the driver get it? Why did tequila get it? 
is it the metal? You know, I don't yeah. know. Like, what, Are what they touching it? metal to their lips? Yeah, so like, I was thinking about the, the blade, the hand that the guy had. Yeah. And then he was drinking out of, like, a horn that had, like, a metal rim. Because mm-hmm. he was using the reflection of, what the fuck? So, I don't know. Anyway, besides that, like, that whole sequence there was really fun. Yeah. Um, I like when he pushed the button on the dash and it converted from just, like, oh, yeah, normal London city cab to... Drift spec. <laughs> like, like, got, the like the hubcaps just dropped off. sequential <laughs> shifter. Yeah, it popped the hubcaps off and like widened its stance and lowered and everything. It's, I was like, all right. It's ridiculous. But I loved it. Sure. Elton John in this was really good. I yeah. Don't know, I don't know. I just... Something about like the first time you see him, the first line he has is fuck you, like fuck you or fuck you bitch or fuck something like you, that. Fuck you bitch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, said, he said fuck you or fuck probably like... 12 times. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Like I would say like between 10 to 20 times. I don't yeah. know. There's a lot of times. <laughs> so, I like that. The poppy stuff, like her being poppy, her whole, like, little town in the middle of yeah. nothing was interesting. Like, it had her own little theater, a hot dog stand, and everybody knew how to use guns and just fucking defended yeah. it. But, uh, I like that. The robot, the dogs. Like, those are interesting things. Like, she seemed to... That's, at least she specified is why I like using robots, because I can trust them. Yeah. But she only had three robots. Sure. I'm like, all right. That, the, yeah, the uh, the the lady robot in the boutique, the two dogs in his arm, yeah, were pretty cool. But I don't know why she didn't have more. Yeah, maybe it was like keeping with the aesthetic or maybe. like expense. Yeah, I don't know. But his his like rocket punch arm was pretty yeah. cool. I thought it was gonna have more to it than just that. Yeah, because it seems so it big. It looked like it had a bunch of like cylinders and ammo and I mean, rockets. And... I've never made a rocket punching arm, sure. so maybe <laughs> you need all that for the cable and for whatever like fuel that launches it off. And yeah. I don't know how it works, but but it looked cool. When it got to the end, I was like, "Oh man, he's gonna shoot him with that train dart." Like we've seen mm-hmm. it a couple of times. Harry missed his or whatever. Yeah, but. Uh, but I had forgotten that. It was like, anything with a microchip. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah. So that made sense. But no, I like the fights with that. Him having that arm in the very beginning. I love it. I keep touching the ground. Yeah. Like, that was fun and whatnot. It was like a cool reveal how, over. like, yeah. <laughs> I was that, like, was, that was creepy. It was a cool reveal how they showed us that his arm yeah, because it had like metal. skin or a glove or something it was, on it. It had a sleeve and a glove, and then the glove wore away, and you could see the, the yeah. arm and, and stuff. I liked him, like, blocking the bullets. And yeah. Then he, like, grabbed the gun and just kept moving his hand all the way yeah, around. Yeah, it twisted, like, 360 <laughs> degrees and pulled the gun out of Eggsy's hand. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, fucking the proximity landmines. I wrote those down because they kept saying about him. Like, oh, man, what are we going to yeah. do? Fucking Merlin. Man. I was oh, excited Merlin. that he was going to come out into the field because we kind of had him a little bit last movie. Yeah. Where he w- they went into, like, that mountain place with the plane and he was like guarding the plane for the most part while Galahad was doing his stuff but uh I don't know I guess okay I didn't like it but he also got to sing he did a pretty good job singing and then just blew everybody up yeah took out like I don't know six guards or something but yeah no I just wanted to see him be able to go out in the field because him and uh, Ginger Ale having their little conversation yeah talking about haven't you ever wanted to do something more it's like yeah. what this is important yeah you know they need us. Like, he had just got his suit. I know. Oh, okay. Man, he took his Bowie knife. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, the poison or whatever, like, the showing it, like, what it does, I'm like, damn. It definitely has some stages. Yeah. So, How many takes do you think they had to do before they got the guy at stage three when the blood squirted out of his nose? How many takes? Yeah. I don't know. What do you mean? Like, like, <laughs> like how, when po- well, when Poppy was filming that the thing eyes, like, for the uh, president. The blood looked weird out of his nose. The eyes looked really good, though. Yeah. I thought the blood in his nose looked weird, but I don't know. One? We, <laughs> is there like a, is this like a trivia thing? Or what? No, no, no. I was just, <laughs> no, like Poppy, when she was filming that thing to show the president, like how many times you, uh, to get it to where so that the when glass I get defogged, here, that happens? this guy's face pops. <laughs> gotcha. No, I get what you mean now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It felt like it was live, but maybe yeah. maybe not. Maybe they did. The film is just right, so this guy dies right at the right time. But Elton John, who's in the death chamber, doesn't die. Yeah. So. Which, I don't know. She could have maybe had a faster acting version that they could just do right before. Sure. Yeah. I thought hers was really fast acting, but I get that, oh, she overdosed because yeah. 
one, I guess, no tolerance because she doesn't partake in her own stuff. She made that clear with Angel. Where yeah. Like, you don't partake in this. You don't um, sample the merchandise. Yeah. So I can understand that, that she OD'd to. But at first I'm like, man, that was not eight minutes. But, okay, sure. Um, you yeah. know, heroin. I don't know how bad. I don't know anything about heroin or anything. I didn't know it was heroin. I forgot that it was heroin, but that is a lot of heroin. It is is what it is, I guess. I don't know. Um, As far as, like, not, like, action stuff, like, I liked the the idea of Eggsy and, uh, damn, what was this girl's name? Oh, shit. Princess Tilda. Yeah, Tilda. Um, Their thing, like... I got the whole, like, I have to screw this chick to save the world. And, like, I get them being mad and all that kind of stuff happening. I did like that in that moment she was like, well, if we were, like, together, together, like, that means, that seems like it would mean, like, I might be more okay with this. And he's, like, hesitant on the whole idea. But then in the moment when, like, he's like, I got to save her and she's going to die and stuff. And, like, he's like, I don't want to live without you. Like, I like that, like, it gets to the point there where it's, like, if it's, us being like together or not together kind of thing or you dying like i i will save you i want to be with you i don't want to lose you like yeah i like that they kind of like brought that around to the marriage at the end Mm -hmm. which i wonder if it's like a i'm not sure if the ending there is like a galahad uh eggsy is no longer going to be a kingsman because by the end of it especially with uh tequila showing up in the suit i'm like well maybe he could be a kingsman along with harry and then he being now a prince, I guess, you know, part of a royal family. Sure. Probably won't be involved in special secret missions, I guess. I don't I don't know. Like, yeah. if they don't have him in, like, a... Cause like I said before, I think the next one's supposed to be a prequel or something instead of a sequel. Yeah. But, like, if it was a sequel, if you didn't have Eggsy and he's with the princess, but you're covering, like, Channing Tatum and uh, Harry. Sure. Yeah. Like maybe that's the route they're that going with it. Too. Where it's like they're gonna be married together and they he saved the world twice, you know, I don't know. Yeah. He's he's served king and country. Yeah. You know, queen and country rather. Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I thought that might have been the way they were going with it by the end. Because I don't get why else you show tequila in a suit otherwise. Yeah. Except for the whole idea I, I guess of we're brother like yeah. agencies. But why is he? Before in a suit? we were cousins, now we're brothers. Yeah, he could have just shown up in his like cowboy outfit and still came over to be like, sure. I need a suit, but he was like dressed with a cane and stuff. Mm-hmm. And had a bowler hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he was ready. Yep. Um, and then the other thing that I thought was very like interesting, and I kind of got a little emotional with it, was uh, uh, Harry when he was talking about they were on the plane talking, and he was saying about like I was going to lose my girl, and it was going to break. You know, we we broke up, and it broke me, and now she's going to die maybe. And I, you know, he doesn't know where he's at. And he knows he shouldn't have a girlfriend because he's a kingsman. But Harry talking about how like. When I got shot in the face, I didn't think of anything. Like yeah. nothing flashed before my head. I had no ties, no commitments, no no legacy I was yeah. leaving behind or anything. And it was just kind of like a sad, like I don't know, surreal moment, I guess. Of like a lot of people talk about like you know my life flashed before my eyes, and I thought mm-hmm. about you know family or kids or whatever I had that I wasn't going to see anymore and stuff. And it's just a sad thing of like I, he didn't have any anything, you know. So yeah. I thought that was like a very. It, like, they had really cool, like, there's some fun comedy moments, there was really good action and stuff, but I'm glad they had a couple of those kind of... Poignant sur- moments. Yeah, surreal, yeah. important, like, I don't know, lifey moments, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. Heck, even talking about how the, uh, like, wrong place, wrong time, and, bye, honey, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, I'll see you soon. And, yeah. Like, that's the last time you see her, it's just like, alright, I'll see you when you get back, and then you find out she's dead, you know, like, that's one of those other kind of moments and stuff. It's yeah. it's it's undercut by him being like I'm going to kill all the druggies now. Sure. But at the same time it's still like a sadder moment so. Mm-hmm. But no, I liked Harry's like his little like monologue, I guess, not speech so much, but his monologue about how important it is to have something. Like when you die like you have it, like having nothing is yeah, it sucks. sucks. It's what it yeah. sound like he was saying. So, I like that he's supporting him getting married, mm-hmm. which is also though why I think that Maybe he's saying, hey, you should do this. And since I have nothing, I will continue doing Kingsman stuff. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't know who, who's... He's the only one going to run Kingsman, I guess. I mean, he's probably going to be Arthur now, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Or he keeps Galahad. Yeah. You know? Maybe. Huh. So, I don't know. Or maybe because he has one eye, maybe he's not quite fit for field. Although he did pretty well. 
maybe he, he got much better in the second early. time. Yeah, he does. And I loved yeah. how uh, Whiskey was like, like I don't know. It, it was the there was some line he had talking about how he you know seemed crazy with butterflies and shit, but you know what? He's still on top of his game and understand like this. I was working against you, you know. He was catching on. Him. So mm-hmm. I I like that he like credited him for how good he, he is. He acknowledged it, yeah. Even though he's he was a little glitchy with fucking seeing butterflies and yeah. shit. I love like he was like, no, butterflies away. Yeah. When they're like, close the door! I really like that, because he's just like, over here just swatting <laughs> butterflies, and they're like, do the thing! Yeah. We're gonna die! So, I like that. It was kind of like, uh, oh, Temple of Doom. We were talking about Temple of Doom with the donut rolling. Yeah. But in that, when the door, the thing's crushing at him and they're gonna die, it's yeah. just like there's bugs everywhere. Yeah. It's like push the thing. We are going to die. Yeah. So I just thought that was funny. Overall, I thought it was really fun. I liked it a lot. I said I need to watch the first one again um, and see how that was to kind of like compare them again. But I think just by initial viewing, I, I enjoyed this more than I enjoyed the first one. But like the. There's a few things that are a little wonky. Like the parachute thing we talked about in that. Yeah, it's that was like, a little bit weird. I don't know. That parachute thing, this is a tiny hole. He probably would just... Yeah. At, from the from just the sheer, like, how fast are you going and just stopping almost, you know? Sure. Like, that hurt. It would, at the very least, hurt. Yeah. I'm like, maybe his cowboy suit. Like, they have, you know, John Wick has his bulletproof, you know, sure. outfits and stuff. Maybe there's some kind of little metal backing there or something. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. But I love yeah. that fucking... That's I mean, the they have the, the alpha gel or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. That saves him a gunshot wound to the head, which is... They've got all kinds of shit. That's pretty crazy. So maybe he can yeah. survive a parachute through a hole. I love the... Uh, the, the few things that I, I, I like that were just kind of little minuscule things was like him... I have a very important dinner, so I'm going to jump in this sewer. And then her being like... You know, hey, if you love me, you'll kiss me. And she's going to kiss me. You're going to kiss me? Aww. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not going to do that. I thought that was cute. But I also just loved in the parachute scene when that old guy's like, that's the best shit I've had in weeks. Or yeah. Whatever it was. Yeah. I'm like, oh, poor guy. But. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was an Alpine View retirement home. Something like that. It's an interesting retirement home. Yeah, it is. I never thought about that. I don't figure many people would retire to a place that, that that's that cold. Sure. Usually you old know? people go to like... The warmth, Miami, yeah. California, Florida's, yeah. Arizona's, yeah. you know, stuff like that, where it's like Warm lower dry. humidity and yeah. Uh, but going to the, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if there's many of those. I'm sure there's some people who are like, I don't know, retired. Sure there's got to be some, snow, yeah, you know. But like, I don't like the heat. Maybe I would retire someplace cold. Sure. But I've heard like, you know, uh, people when they get older, they're like, yeah, I don't have. It's so cold. Yeah. You know, like, I don't, joints don't work as well. Yeah. Anymore, so, kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'll see when I'm older. Maybe my joints won't work as well as I think. All the shit that I've done to them. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Fucking your ankle's gonna whistle or some shit. <laughs> uh, at least I wouldn't lose it. <laughs> I guess. Where's my ankle? <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I. I I enjoyed it. I thought there was a lot of cool little things in there. I feel like I need to watch it again. Like maybe I'd understand a few things a little bit more, like the, I don't know, maybe like the poison thing. I don't know why Angel had to kill, or Angel, 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 how do you say it? Angel. Angel? Yeah. I don't know, like, why he had to kill his his friend that brought him in. I, I, I might have missed that part, but he was like, oh, oh, you got buddy messed up. Put him in the hamburger grinder and eat him. <laughs> I'm uh, like, shit, man. I think what it was is he wasn't supposed to bring anybody there, but he wanted to cut him in on the on the work. Mm, okay. So she was like, look, your buddy fucked up. So you can prove to me that you're loyal by killing him. You know, that's what I took Or it I can feed you the dogs. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine having to do that and then have to eat a hamburger made of him. You know? Yeah. I feel like that's just asking for some kind of terrible disease. Yeah. Dude, that grinder thing is fucking crazy. There's no other reason for her to have a grinder like that. What, the thing is just open this big or whatever, you know? Yeah. Like, why do you have it that big? Are you going to toss an entire, like, cow? Yeah. <laughs> like, beef quarter into that? I don't know. Yeah. Because it could. It, it could has, take it. has to be for that, which is crazy. 
For a diner, there's no people there eating anything. Except for people hamburgers. Yeah. But I, I did like the usage of it for, uh, like, they were fighting, and then, like, the blade fell in it. Mm-hmm. And then they're fighting, he throws his whip into it, it's pulling them back in. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's cool. I like, it's it's a way of, two. it's keeping the uh, the action going while giving a reason why this guy isn't currently fighting this guy. Mm-hmm. Which, for the most part, I think they did a really good job in the the 2v1. The timing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, it didn't feel like, oh, he hit him away, but now he's over there and he's waiting a long time. It's usually more hit away, get back up, come back in really quick. Oh, yeah. And it's just going fast. Lots of times you get that, you know, you get that stuttering or the waiting, and it felt pretty good. Mm-hmm. No, I really liked it, too. So, I like that a lot. Um... I just don't want to eat a hamburger. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not hankering right now. Not for people. I mean, I'll, I'll go get a hamburger now. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. I don't want a people hamburger. I'm not, I'm not gonna. That one hamburger looks so damn good though. It, it did. You pay for it. Do didn't know where it came from. I wonder if it tastes weird. I don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know. I don't want to know. You don't want to know what long pig tastes like. <laughs> I don't want to know. <sighs> All right. I don't know if I have anything else. You have anything else? Uh-huh. Look at all your notes. Yep. So many notes. I took a lot of notes. That's the last movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie that I hadn't seen before. <laughs> That's funny. No, it was good. Oh, man, Elton John. The, the the other two things of Elton John was, like, they did, like, a CGI face on his, like, jump flying kick thing. Yeah. And I thought that was funny and stuff. But I loved how they implemented the Elton John friend. Yeah, and then later on it comes back, and they do the rocket man. And it's like right there in the middle. Yeah. I thought that was a lot of fun. And he's like, stay behind him, and he has this gigantic bird feather suit thing, which looks out in Johnny. Yeah, you know? I mean it's just as flamboyant as anything he's worn on stage. <laughs> sure, for real. It looked like something so, he would have worn. You yeah, know? like it was, just, but it was just ridiculous in the sense of what all was going on. Yeah, and he's jump kicking people and stuff. <laughs> it was so funny. Those giant platform heels too. Those yeah. were great. But no, I loved. Uh, they utilized like that, like everything they showed and set up. They utilized too. Like they went to the bowling alley before, mm-hmm. and he threw the bowling ball. But then they came back to it later on to fight the dogs, and then they crushed. Like you didn't have to have a bowling alley there. No. The first scene wasn't like you didn't have to have it in a bowling alley to show how strong this arm is. No. But it worked out. And you're like, hey, how are we gonna kill these uh, robot dogs? How about we crush them with some bowling balls? Ah, Elton John and Harry can do it. Perfect yeah. idea, you know. Like, the writing of it is like, you don't need that. The tattoo thing, like, pour this golden t- tattoo liquid on him. Yeah. That would suck, too. Yeah. I love how it, it seems like they wrote the action scenes like, okay, like, Galahad is being chased by these robot dogs. Where does he run? Uh, he runs across the street into the bowling alley. Okay. What does he do there? Um, he looks for a way out. Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Have him run towards that. Sure. Okay, he slipped. He fell. Uh, grab a bowling pin, cram it in a dog. Buy some time. Yeah. yeah. It just seems like everything is like. It, it wasn't like put there, like, okay, we're, we're going to set this up for way in the future so that we can show this one thing. Sure. And let's figure out a convoluted way of getting there. You know, it, it they, seems like everything makes sense they how they arrive. Yeah. Like, they even had that one place with the donut shop, or whatever. They never went in it at all. No. But they shot the donut hole thing off, and it rolled off, and they used it, you know? Exactly. The scissors, the salon, they even used the scissors to yeah. kill two guys. <laughs> it's like, <Terribly>. damn. <laughs> yeah. And they were, like, doing a bridge while they got stabbed. <laughs> they were, yeah. <laughs> so, no, I don't know. It was just, it, it's, it'd be interesting to see, like, what's the writing process for them to do this? Do they think of, like, like, what do they start with? Like, why did you make your set like that? Why did you give this woman a little town, but it's yeah. not even that many houses? In the houses. 1950s style. There's no houses there. No. There was just businesses. There was a hot dog stand, a donut shop, a salon, a bowling alley, yeah. like a theater, a it diner. It was her little thematic hideout. Yeah. It was, Pop, it was like Poppy Land. Yeah. yeah. It was like, that's why I thought it was like a theme park, but it was, wasn't like any, I don't know. She said, theme. these ruins are technically undiscovered. Like, they're not on any map or anything anywhere, but we're just hiding out here. This giant monopolized drug trade, yeah. you know? In the ruins themselves, you only really saw a little bit when uh, when Eggsy was chasing Charlie. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like we really saw the, like, ruin aspect of it. We spent most of the time in her damn little shops. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. 
But it, I, I wasn't like, this is ridiculous. I was like, well, I mean, I was some. It is. There is some ridiculousness but to it But you all. just accept it. But it just kind of works and flows into the next mm-hmm. one, so. <sighs> all right. No, I have fun with this. Yeah. I thought it was a lot of fun. No, I think it's a blast. Like, these, I think these Kingsman movies, they're not, like, meant to be taken as seriously as, like, James Bond. Sure. But that little well. bit where James yeah. Bond has... Yeah, I know, slide whistle. But little bits where James Bond has, like, one-liners and stuff, mm-hmm. I think they just crank that up to ten. Sure. You know? Yeah. This, the, the kind of ridiculous moments, like, just embellish them even more. So. Yeah. So... No, really good stuff. I look forward to the the King's Man yes. movie that's supposed to be coming out. Like the, the prequel. This month for us. By the time this hits YouTube, it's probably already going to be out. So yeah, I don't know what the out. release schedule or anything for that's going to be, if it's going to be only theaters or anything, but maybe we can check that out sometime and mm-hmm. maybe react to that. Yeah, I'm surprised I went so long without watching these because yeah, they're I both really good. They yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, they're both really good. Damn. I want and I don't want. <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this make sure you subscribe as we have a new movie every week here on YouTube and if you want to see more movies we have four more over at patreon.com slash blindwave right now and uh, polls as well you can vote with some future ones maybe uh, the new Kingsman movie will be on there and uh, let us know if you're interested in a reaction for that mm-hmm. 